Hello everyone, it's the third week of the uh, semester for spring 2020 and this week we're going to look at the French Revolution. Now you may be asking yourself, why are we looking at the French Revolution when we're in a British literature class? But there were a lot of reasons why the French Revolution was being watched very closely in England. Uh, this was during the time of King George III. King George III at about this time had already lost the American colonies. He was also starting to go crazy. And people, people were asking the question, do we want to keep our king? And in France, they had already uh, overthrown their monarchy. The uh, uh, French uh, royalty had pretty much uh, uh, lost its way, if you will. It, it was being oppressive to the people. And uh, really, the only people in France at the time that had any power or any money, for that matter, were either members of the aristocracy or members of the church. Because back in those years, being in the church was a good way to make money. It's not like today where, you know, aside from a few mega pastors, you've got uh, pastors living humble lives. Um, it wasn't like that back in the late 1700s. So, people in England are watching this closely, and there is a huge debate going on in England. So before there was such a thing as Facebook where people would uh, debate politics and you know scream at each other and uh, call each other names and whatnot, and before there was MSNBC and Fox News, there were pamphlets. And pamphlets were a way for publishers to make a quick buck because they were short and they could churn a lot of them out on the printing press in a very short amount of time. Because this was about the time the printing press was invented and more people than ever were able to read. Now, that still only was about 50% of the population, but still, more people were able to read, and they were saying, give us something to read. You know, they had these voracious reading appetites, because, you know, there was no TV back then, there were no smartphones, so they actually had to read these pamphlets. And um, so you're going to see a debate play out between Edmund Burke, who was pro-royalty, and uh, Mary Wollstonecraft, who you will see again next week, and Thomas Paine, and yes, it is the Thomas Paine from American history, uh, they were, they were anti-royalty. They, the, uh, they wanted to have a democracy and to overthrow the uh, British royalty. So, how does this play out? So, you're going to read that this week. You're going to read the introduction to the uh, French uh, Revolution. And you're going to take the quiz on uh, the French Revolution in the week three uh, folder this week. So, one other thing I want to point out is that many of you did not take the reading quiz last week. Some of you have reached out to me and said you had trouble getting the book. If that's the case, then we can work around that. Um, but generally, I do not reopen quizzes uh, for people who miss them. So, you know, if the reason you missed the quiz is because you didn't get the book, you know, either you've already let me know that or you need to let me know that. If the reason you've missed the quiz is because of laziness, then you won't be uh, given an opportunity to make it up. So I still need to see the papers, though, once you write those. You'll still have an opportunity to make up any essays that you missed. So um, that's this week. So um, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, reading the debate, debate between Burke and Wollstonecraft and Payne and uh, that you learned a little something about the uh, French Revolution.